Welcome to Sonya Podcast. I'm actually talking about the sexual appeals of antisocial personalities, according to Justin J. La Hamilla, PhD, The Method of Sex. He's a therapist. And this is what he, this is his thoughts that dark traits such as narcissistic narcissism can sometimes be mistaken as attractive features especially when you don't know someone well people who fall in love fast easily and often tend to be more easily seduced by dark traits some dark traits are linked to having more children meaning they may provide a reproduction advantage when looking at studies examine what people said they want in a romantic partner people tend to report a lot of positive traits for example kindness honesty and dependability are reliably near the topic of the list. However, there's an interesting paradox in the scientific uh, literature on attraction. While people say they are attracted to the nice partners, they systemically report being attracted to individuals with dark personality traits. There is a cluster of three personality traits known as the dark trade. They, that has been shown to be relative to height and attractions across multiple studies. These traits are psychopathic, narcissism. Although each one simplifies something a little different, they all tie together by a tendency to engage in antisocial behavior, such as being callous and manipulative. On the surface, these traits don't sound like things that would intensely be sexually or romantic appealing. However, it turns out that they are often mistaken for attraction traits. For example, if you don't know a narcissist very well, they overly inflated self-views and tendency to talk about the self can potentially come across as being talkative or just confident. Like why narcissists and other social manipulators often make an effort to put on a pretty attractive veneer. For instance, they may invest more time and effort into their parents, surround themselves with symbols of money and success, and make a greater effort to say the right thing, even if it aren't true, in order to appear desirable or to manipulate someone else into liking them. Several studies have shown that people with these dark traits are often rated as being more attractive than people who are low on these traits. Men are high in dark traits are seen as more attractive. In one study, a group of college women was asked to rate the attractiveness of profiles of men who wave in their level of dark trait traits. The physical characteristics of the men were held constants. What varied was only whether they were high or low in these traits three personality characteristics the men who were high in dark trade traits were rated as being significantly more attractive than the men who were low on them and it was a fairly sizable difference more than a full point on the scale what was especially interesting about the study is that the researchers also asked participants to evaluate the men on their perceived level of narcissism and psychopathy and the men who were high on these traits was indeed perceived as such so the participants constantly recognize that the fact yet still rate them as more attractive. People who fall in love quickly are easy to do by dark traits. In another study, which I pre- previously summarized, people who fall in love fast, easily, and often, those are high in the traits of empathia, report greater attraction to profiles of individuals who was high in dark trait traits than did people who were low on empathia. This suggests that people who believe in love at first sight seems to be more easily seduced by partners who have dark personalities, perhaps initially mistaking these dark traits for attraction features in their quest for love. Questions asked, do dark traits offer a reproductive advantage? Yet another study which focused on the genet- genetics of antisocial personality traits actually found that people who... These traits seem to have reproductive advantage over others. Specifically to the genes that have been linked to antisocial traits was also correlated correlated with the genes associated with reproducing earlier in life and having more children. In other words, having less care and concern for other people is associated with having more children. Why is that? 
psychopathy is linked to living a fast life these individuals individuals tend to take more risks and act more impulsively one outcome of this is that they tend to start reproducing earlier life and have more children over time so when you combine the fact that dark persons are often seen as attractive at least initially with higher levels of risk taking and impulse behavior amongst the person who have these traits you end up with a situation in which these two which those traits not only have the opportunity to survive but also drive in the population the gene that predispose people to these traits therefore have the potential to get passed on greater numbers over time it's an uncomfortable thought to be sure but it's really just evaluation at work Evaluation is a tricky thing in that it doesn't care about morality, justice, or political correction. It operates independently of, a, of our social value. The traits that facilitate attraction and reproduction are the traits more likely to be passed on regardless of whether we value these traits or not. That's crazy. I didn't know... Well, I can honestly say that makes sense that people are more attracted to dark traits because if you look at most people, they have these traits and a lot of us are attracted to these traits. But to find out that a therapist really zoomed in on people actually attracted to these dark traits was is just shocking to me because I know as people... That's why we have things as like, oh, I like bad boys or, or you know, a lot of people like to be around most people who they consider to be bad for some reason. It's crazy, but it's true. I'd like to thank you for listening to my podcast. Please give it a five-star review on speaker. I heart ready. Wherever you listen to your podcast, I please share. Please go to, these web- go to my website, http dot dot slash dot podcasters dot slash wordpresses dot com. You can leave a comment at sv seven six six seven five two gmail dot com. Use promo code Sonya W W Instacart one fifty six. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can buy me a coffee. You can also follow me at Sonya Santiago Pinterest, Sonya Santiago Facebook, Sonya Santiago YouTube, Sonya Santiago Twitter. You can also follow me at S O N dot I A nine seven nine five Instagram. Thank you and have a blessed night.